Inserting frames in drawing views is similar to inserting the composite part in an assembly. Select Insert View. Activate the Composite Part filter. Choose the composite part in the Insert dialog and click it onto the drawing sheet. You can project views, change the display style, add dimensions and notations as needed, just like any other view. If you need to add a view of a specific segment and not the entire frame structure, click Insert View and Insert again to open the dialog. Filter for parts instead of activating the composite part filter. Expand the Part Studio and choose the needed part segment. Adjust the view orientation, scale, and simplification as needed. Click the view on the sheet. Then add dimensions and notes. To insert the cut list onto the drawing sheet, click the Cut List table icon in the drawing toolbar. If the Part Studio contains more than one cut list, choose the needed table from the pull-down menu. Define the order and the fixed corner. Click the table onto the sheet. The table appears exactly as it displays in the Part Studio, so any custom columns added with the override option display on the drawing sheet. The cut list table has the same behavior as other tables, where you can move it by dragging the corners and adjust the size by dragging the midpoints along the sides. To access additional options, right-click on the table. Also notice in the view properties of the frame, the cut list is listed as the table reference. If the reference has configurations, the table's right-click menu has a change configuration option. In the change configuration dialog, Expand the configuration list to choose a different configuration. Accept the configuration change. The table values update to reflect that of the chosen configuration. Next, callouts need to be added to the view. Any property in the cut list can be referenced in the callout, including any columns added with the override option. Select the callout icon in the drawing toolbar. Notice the cut list table property icon. Any column header or property in the cut list is available to reference in the callout. Modify the callout as needed, choosing the referenced properties, size, style, and padding. Then click the callouts onto the segments within the views. Just like any other drawing, you may update the drawing views and table when changes occur by either clicking Update Workspace References or by updating the reference to a new version or revision. This video explored best practices for creating drawings of frames and adding the cut list table and callouts.